Wirecat, welcome back. I'll just show you what I'm working on here. Got some uh, coffee brewing and some rain falling. Wonderful day to be inside working on some music. Once again, welcome. I don't know how long we're going to hang out. Kind of hungry. But I'm working on uh, Over the Moon. And I've organized... You can see I moved everything down from two to eight because I want to put some kind of something. But right now, what we're working with is from eight on. And you may remember this. That's popping. I like that, and I want to keep fleshing that out. Um, you may hear I added some uh, percussion to that whole mix to uh, solidify that rhythm section. So if we back up, I wouldn't back up, but as you remember, that Strum GS2 doesn't keep track well, so I've got to start from the beginning. break it down because we have this tremendous um, wall of wonderful sonic sound coming at us here and it's big you know it's just everything going on so anyways uh, in this section I really just attempt to break it down and I've laid a baseline, which is what we're going to go over right now really quick, so I can go ahead and copy it over to this and begin modifying it in, in various ways. But this is the DNA kind of, of um, kind of the character of the baseline that I want here. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I just put that there for so we can hear it. So this is what we're working with here. And we're going to go through, we're going to listen to it once and see how it sounds tight, but it's not really tight until we go through excuse me drinking a LaCroix and my coffee and I'm just dying for some lunch um oh it's not really tight until you go through and tighten it up with the numbers so let's just take it from here and see what we got <laughs> put a little fill there to make it you know just kind of enhance a little bass fill going on here but what I'm going to do right now is because this is just a copy of the uh, previous I'm going to delete this track we're going to go in really quick without even playing anything necessarily just going to go in and tighten all these notes up and see where they're sitting
I actually would be working today, but we have been evacuated. We're in the Southern California flood zones and uh, a little evacuation going on. So, uh, yeah, taking a nice little rainy day off. You know, it's funny. The more you make music, the more you develop an ear to what is um, what is right and tight and what is sloppy and not. And fortunately, um, you know, it tends to be people you hang out with that point that out. I was in a band when I was young, and the leader of the band was a stickler. I mean, he had an ear, just a really good ear for when things were tight. And I didn't hear it. Half the time, I thought we were sounding really good. But, um, no. It took a while. And uh, just in this the same fashion, you can lay a track into your ear when you, when you first hear it. It sounds really good. And it's not till later. The more you add, actually, I think, the more you add, the muddier those. So you you lay two tracks, you lay three tracks, and everything is not tight, and you can get away with it. It sounds okay. This is okay. But the more you add to that, kind of like a bad economy. <laughs> That's not a good analogy. Anyways, the more you keep compounding on top of those bad notes, the muddier it gets. It just keeps getting muddier and muddier as all these instruments start to stack up on top of notes that are not locked up with the one, not locked up with the kick. It's just out of time. So I learned years ago, don't even mess around, don't even fuck around. Just you know, go in after you after you lay what you th what you got, and just line everything up. You know, you got it. The bass, it's just you have to with the bass and the drums. And I already did this part, I think. All right, let's give it a listen now. this bad boy notice if you know the numbers if you just pay attention to those four numbers um, I just edited that whole bass line with no quantize I know where all my notes are now I'm familiar with it and I never even listened to the fucking song let's check it out <laughs> on some of that that's super tight now this velocity is looking good and we can go ahead and copy this over throw that right there on 32 So now that we have, you'll see we have a duplicate of this. Now we know all these notes are aligned very nicely. They're all on in the pocket right there. Or maybe not. No, we don't know they're aligned. So let's just back this up here. And our first note is landing on one. The 
I think I want this part too. Hopefully, right on the one. Yes. Uh, four cents off. I think I can deal with that, though. So now we can go through. If you like, if you likey likey, to the second part and kind of uh, augment it. Now, mind you, it's much more fun to just play these parts, but if I were to play it in, the gist, you know, the, the rhyme and reason are going to be very similar. So I'm kind of, and then I'd have to go through and lock everything up again. So I'm tempted just to use this template and just augment the template. So you can do things like... Uh, I might end up playing this myself because I want it to be... see there that's where we're headed with this I want to check out voice meter before I let you all go here just kind of keep jamming along I'm gonna show you I'm you know I'd be happy to show you all my voice meter settings if you're interested in recording yourself and throwing shit on YouTube I want to try like uh, the lower sample rate and see if I can get away with it. Oh, much better. All right. If I get it with 512, I mean, good grief. This is, that's the nicest uh, I've experienced to date. Uh, nah, it wasn't re 
recording them. I take that back, boys and girls. So this is voice meter. And it is kind of the last thing between you and the sound. I'm using WDM drivers. Yep. And see if we can uh, get away with this. Can't get away with that either. Voice meter, okay. And we'll try uh, hmm, running out of options here. Try that. and I think uh, we're gonna have to go back to ten twenty four. Isn't that just crazy? Ten twenty four seems to be the magic number. Who knows, you might have to reboot to get really good results after you uh, do these numbers. Chugga chuggas. All right, guys. <laughs> Just kind of spacing that on you here. Anyways. I might come back and shout at you later. Um, it's what I'm working on currently. I'm happy with the uh, what's going on. <laughs> you guys go <sighs> wirecat out